This won't surprise you. Bill Shorten wants his old job back, and he was over there on Channel 2 this morning just answering every question he possibly could. And the questions were thick and fast. Does this look like a bloke who wants to stay in his lane as the shadow government services minister? No, I don't think so. Speezy's question, then his answer. Roll the tape. So are you saying there should be no profit making in aged care? I'm saying that we need to put people before profit. I'm saying that if you can make a profit, that's good. But the problem is here that we're seeing profit being made, but people not getting looked after. So the government should spend more money showing he's learnt no lesson about why he's the Shadow Government Services Minister and not the Prime Minister right now. How does he plan to get back to the leadership? Well, in part, he wants to try to use human shields like Joel Fitzgibbon, who are out there saying that we should be using gas as the transitional uh, technology to get us to renewables. Albo said no-one's allowed to be pro-gas. So Bill's pro-gas now. Have a look. Some suggest we need to do more on gas to make manufacturing more affordable, even taxpayer subsidies for infrastructure when it comes to gas. What do you think? I think that if we want to transition to more renewable energy, we still need baseload energy, and that gas, I think, is part of that answer. So he's getting up a steam here, you see. I'm different than Albo. Look how I'm sitting here on Channel 2. I'm being persuasive. I'm being aggressive. And then the guy who, of course, ended up as the Shadow Government Services Minister, not the Prime Minister. Well, he's not too far below the surface. How's this for a detailed answer about who should be in charge of hotel quarantine as he tried to blame the federal government for what we've just been talking about is clearly the Victorian government's fault? What should the Commonwealth be doing with hotel quarantine? Well, the, the Commonwealth is the big dog of Australian politics. It's the biggest player. Mm. So what should they so do here? I think they should be doing as much as they can working with the states. What? Would an example of that be offering members of the ADF to police the hotel quarantine? Because they're 